Now, if you know me or you've been watching and following the channel for some time, you'll know that I am a massive fan of a good running belt. And when I say I'm a fan, I pretty much wear a belt for every single run I do that's under 15 miles. And I've done that for years and years. So over that time, I've run with lots of different belts from lots of different manufacturers, from Flip Belt to Compress Sport to Ironman brand, uh, to Salomon to Ultimate Direction and so on. In today's video, we are taking a look at the latest running belt offering from trail running specialist Salomon, and it is their new advanced skin belt. I've been testing it out for a good month now, so let's dive into the video and find out how it performs. <laughs> Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Thanks for joining us again for another video, but if you're new to the channel, then welcome. It's great to have you along. And if you enjoy what you see, then why not consider subscribing to the channel? Super simple to do. All you gotta do is click on that little red subscribe box down there in the corner. It'll only take a second and it is completely free. But while you're there guys, don't forget to hit that bell icon as well so you'll be notified when we upload any new exciting running content. It really, really does help when it comes to the crazy world of the YouTube algorithm, but it also helps other like-minded runners like yourselves discover the channel. Right, back to the world of running belts and before we break down Salomon's new belt in a bit more detail, I thought I'd just run you through what I feel makes a good functional running belt and what you guys should look out for when you're making that all important purchase. So back in the day when I first started running with a belt, they used to look like this. And I'm sure you'll remember these old school belts. They used to have an adjustable strap on them, a big plastic buckle on the front, and then a big pocket on the back where you'd stow your water and all your goodies for the day. Uh, I'm glad to say things have moved on quite a lot since then because, you know, if I'm honest, it wasn't the best system in the world. I used to find them pretty uncomfortable the further I ran and because that strap was uh, fully adjustable you used to have bits of fabric flapping around all over the place that used to drive you crazy you had that big plastic clunky buckle that used to cause me issues that's for sure and because the pocket was just situated on the back you used to find that because you couldn't sort of spread out that weight evenly, that belt would bounce around quite a lot while you're running, especially if you were carrying a fair bit of kit. Luckily for us, brands like Flip Belt came along and did it completely differently. And it worked really well and they became very popular very quick. And they pretty much redesigned the sort of running belt industry. Obviously, all the other brands that were producing belts saw this happening and they kind of followed suit and started to produce very similar style belts. So what we mainly see now Nowadays, like the belt we're looking at in today's video is they tend to be constructed out of one piece of material and they are specifically sized so no adjustments so you literally step into it and pull it up around your waist uh, they're usually made out of sort of a stretchy lightweight breathable fabric which allows you to stow away all those sort of training or race day essentials because it's basically just one massive pocket so what that allows you to do is distribute that weight a lot more evenly around the belt giving you a much more practical and comfortable running experience. So taking all that into consideration, if you're in the market for your first running belt, or if you want to upgrade from an old belt that you're currently using, then I would say this is definitely the design to go for. And I think eventually, you know, those sort of big old style clunky running belts are gonna get laid to rest. So rest in peace, old school running belts. Right, let's give you a few details about the new Advanced Skin Belt. Uh, firstly, it retails in the UK for a pretty reasonable 30 pounds, and it is available in five different size options from extra small all the way up to extra large. Just so you know, I'm a sort of 32, 33 waist and I've got it in a medium and it fits really well. But what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below to Salomon's size chart. Like I said, no adjustment and it's really important that you get the right size. So the belt fits well and you don't get any movement or bouncing when you're running. So I'd always recommend that you check out that sizing guide before you buy. You have four color options to choose from. So the standard sort of black that I'm holding up here and I always tend to pick black for my running belts but you can get it in red blue and green uh, it weighs in at 84 grams so pretty light and it is constructed out of a blend of polyamide and elastane which makes it nice and light super stretchy and very durable the advanced skin belt was actually inspired by my race vest of choice the advanced skin 12 set so salomon have made it nice and wide for comfort and they've also added lots and lots of expandable storage options so pretty much the whole thing is just one pocket 
but there is a bit of segregation going on there as well. So this front compartment is big enough to fit in a good size mobile phone or one of Salomon's 250ml soft flasks, but you also get a really handy key loop as well. So you can clip your house keys, your car keys onto there, keeping them nice and safe so you don't have to worry about them while you're out on your run. The two side openings actually run all the way around the back, forming a massive pocket. And that's actually big enough to carry a full 500ml Salomon soft flask if you wanted to sort of double up on your water. You could also get a lightweight jacket, gloves, beanie, head torch. So great system if you're out on the trails in the colder months or a great carrying system if you're out on the roads marathon training. But the pockets don't stop there. So very similar to the Advanced Skin 12 hydration vest, you get a double pocket system on the back. So we've actually got a very secure zip pocket that sits on top of that main compartment. Perfect for sort of gels, bars, uh, shop blocks, all those nutritional items. And because it's made out of a very stretchy fabric, you can actually fit a lot of tasty treats in that pocket. And last but not least is a very handy addition of a pole carrying system with the two loops on the back. They've both got internal rubber grippers, so it keeps those poles nice and safe and nice and secure, even if you're sort of bombing down a steep technical descent. So there you have it the new advanced skin belt from Salomon. But I think the best thing we can do is to go and grab a load of running kit and a couple of soft flasks, and then we're gonna head outside and we're gonna give the belt the run for adventure bounce test. Whenever we review a running belt on the channel, we wanna do the job properly. Now, I've definitely tested this over the last couple of weeks, but I really wanna put it through its paces today. So we're gonna get all that kit loaded up in this belt and yep, all that kit fits in this small belt and then we are going for a run. So let's get it fully loaded. Let's see how this goes. Okay, the belt is all packed. We fitted every item of kit in. We've got the poles on the back, but now it is time for the famous run for adventure bounce test. Well, the belt didn't fall down, all the kit's still in it, so let's go running. Okay, so we made it to the turning point of our run. A pretty spectacular view. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad. It's a bit blustery today. And the belt is doing a good job considering I've got a full 250 and a full 500 mil flask. I've got a beanie hat, gloves, a lightweight wind jacket, a head torch, uh, three more in gels, two more in drink mixes. We've got the running poles on the back as well. So it's actually handling all that kit really well. But let's get out of this wind. It looks uh, pretty bleak coming to the weather. I think it might get some rain. So we're gonna head back and get back and uh, give you guys a final conclusion. Awesome to be out of the trails again. Okay, so that is my short run finished with the belt packed with all the kit and carrying all the water and it went pretty well. The belt was quite comfortable and there was very little movement. Being able to pack the kit nice and evenly around the belt and sort of distribute that weight really, really helps. But I've got to be honest, maybe I did slightly overdo it with the kit because there was a couple of times on the run, especially as I went downhill and sort of speeded up a bit where there was a bit of movement coming from the back of the belt. I think it was having the running poles and a 500 mil full flask on the back. That's quite a lot of weight. So like I said, I think I maybe did overpack the belt, but I just really wanted to highlight how much kit you can fit in the new Advanced Skin Salomon belt. So the new Advanced Skin belt has definitely passed our jump around like an idiot test and our running test and over the years I've run with lots and lots of running belts some good some not so good so 
I would say the new Salomon belt is up there with the best of them. So wrapping up with a quick conclusion, if you're in the market for your first ever running belt or you want to upgrade your existing belt, then the advanced skin belt is definitely worth a look. I found it very comfortable. It looks to be really well put together. You've got all that accessible, expandable storage. You've got that safe zip pocket and that handy key loop with the added bonus of a pole carrying system. And you get all of that for just 30 pounds, which I personally think is really good value. I'm actually just waiting for one of the naked running belts to turn up because all I hear is glowing reports about that running belt system. And I've never run with one. So I'm gonna get hold of one and we're gonna test it at the channel. Once I've done that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the run for adventure running belt showdown video. So hopefully we'll have that on the channel very soon, but I've gotta be honest, it's getting a bit cold out here. There's some really gray clouds behind the camera and I think it's gonna pour down in rain soon. So I'm gonna run back to the adventure bus. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Really hope you found it helpful. I'll leave a link for the new Salomon belt in the description below if you wanna find out any more information. Don't forget you can follow us on our other social media platforms, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, or Strava. We'll be back at the channel very soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. You have four color options to choose. <laughs> Put my teeth back in. Oh, <laughs> 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 I, I never, I never ever thought I'd twerk on run for adventure. What is happening in this world? <laughs>